Uh, we told the distinguished members of the council that Syria is in free fall. Crimes that shock uh, the conscience have become a reality daily uh, in Syria. Uh, humanity has been the casualty of this war. This is the price of the international collective failure to end this conflict. Uh, we emphasize that there is a devastating human cost to the availability of weapons and that there is also political cost. Weapons fuel the party's illusion that they can win this war, pulling them farther uh, into battle and further away from the negotiating table. Uh, the Council uh, has remained uh, unified on the need to end the war in Syria. We sincerely hope that the Security Council will shoulder the responsibility to achieve uh, results at the uh, Geneva talks. Uh, we need, uh, we insist this, we need a diplomatic surge, not a military surge, and the Council should be leading uh, this diplomatic surge. Uh, then we'll, Karen and I will be happy to take uh, a few questions that you have. Can I ask you one question? I want to, you said that, that you know, maybe, maybe, I don't know if you said it in yes, jest, but I wanted to ask you about her statement earlier about that, that chemical weapons were strong suspicions that chemical weapons had been used by the rebels. And then I noticed when the report came out, the language was the language was different as they had been quoted, you know, right where you're standing by the UK ambassador. What's your current understanding? Was she wrong when she said that? What's happened since she made that statement? No, uh, that is, it was, we didn't wait the report. That is, uh, I think that uh, the uh, made that statement in according, in accordance with her, we issue a uh, a note explaining that we uh, really received some allegations, but that we are not in a position to to say what kind of uh, agents, uh, chemical agents, or where or by whom. And then uh, this was the common position in the in the report. Is it, if she'll be here today, she'll will say the same thing I'm saying. Okay, because I mean, it seems obviously this question of chemical weapons and the use by the government is now is, is a major news moving. Uh, yes, uh, but uh, uh, we, uh, as we have said, uh, we think that there are too many red lines already crossed in Syria that uh, even if uh, we recognize that chemical agents or uh, chemical weapons, the use of chemical agents uh, or chemical weapons uh, is a war crime, I think that there are too many crimes against humanity, gross human rights violations, uh, war crimes you name, that could motivate uh, the Security Council and the international community to end uh, the violence towards a real ceasefire. That is, we don't comment on uh, on uh, statements or decisions by uh, by by government. What uh, uh, we say is that we are not able uh, to uh, inf uh, to say. Uh, whom, who has used uh, uh, chemical agents or chemical uh, weapons, and uh, we are very much worried about the chain of custody of, uh, of the samples. And then, as you know, everything that we publish in our report is something that ourselves we have, uh, we trust, uh, that we trust the chain of custody of the evidence that we, we deal. And uh, in the report, we have said that we expect very much that uh, who has the expertise to do that? Uh, Professor Selström, from the, the expert appointed by, by the Secretary General, will be able to come uh, to Syria. We're casting doubt on the U.S. Surgeon, saying that uh, no, no, we, 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 don't, we, we don't contest uh, any assertion made by, that is, we say that we uh, deal with uh, the standards of own, our own standards for a chain of custody of evidence. Yes, 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 we are. Since the first day. You mean you send them information? Uh, we, we talk. You just say also that Uh, the, the, uh, the only solution, I think, is the, uh, is the Geneva Conference, uh, that uh, real negotiation. 
what we say is that delivering arms uh, engage the responsibility of uh, uh, those who deliver the arms uh, because uh, uh, the people who will receive those arms uh, could commit uh, uh, war crimes and gross human rights violations. That is, is very important to uh, have this in account when uh, arms are being delivered. So at this very moment, at this very moment, sir, what can you tell us concretely about chemical weapons and your understanding? Uh, not more than what you said in our report, that's it, because we don't have access to the country. Uh, it's, it's, it, it's, uh, it's very difficult to assess, only if you have a real a mega uh, 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 conflict with the use of uh, chemical weapons, perhaps it would be easier, but uh, uh, the allegations that we have, we, we, don't, uh, we, we are not sure that we can uh, uh, take, uh, 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 present any conclusions. We, can, we cannot say what the, what the weapons were. were the, we cannot say what the agents were. We don't talk about weapons. We cannot say who used them, and we cannot say how they were even delivered. We cannot say anything concrete. So you are casting serious doubt into what the West has supplied. Excuse me. The West and British, the French, they supply what they say is very violent. They say they have. They haven't supplied that to us. Basically, the way that they from you talk about that term. Do you have like similar similar information or? Uh, he's, he's, he's being so cautious as us, he doesn't say anything. He must enter Syria to, uh, to assess the situation. Uh, about chemical aid? No, we don't have. Sir, there has been some. I will not shoot my own feet. I, 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 can, el I can elaborate about uh, criticism as concerned. Even. I, I think that Professor uh, Salson is being very cautious. Uh, he's a very serious expert, and uh, he hopes that uh, having access to Syria, he will be able to, yes, so to present conclusions. What is your impression? Did, did they, are they reacting the way you imagine they react? Uh, that is, we are we are very happy to have this opportunity. Uh, I, I, they, I haven't uh, had any uh, any refusal to this message that uh, it's the, the, the only solution for the crisis in Syria is a, a, a negotiated solution, a political solution, and that uh, there is no military solution. Uh, I don't. I, I haven't had any refusal of this. Uh, but it's a good time. Yeah, it, it continues. But we cannot be blamed for the limitation of our reports, because if the Syrian Arab Republic would allow us to come to the country, of course the report will be much more complex and complex. Oh, do, you keep track, do you keep track of the, the, the relative number of allegations about various parts of the opposition? Because there's a lot of talk of providing weapons to responsible parts of the opposition. I'm not asking you to sort of give your seal of approval to a particular group, but do you view that as within your role to say, al Nusra did this, FSA, not as much? What, how would you characterize the, the range yeah. of the opposition? Are there is, any groups that have not committed violence? That is, we don't give any certificate of quality to any of the uh, uh, of the groups because we don't take sides. Uh, we have uh, indicated groups uh, involved in spreading acts of terror, yes, we have. And uh, uh, what we said also uh, to the council, that is, is very problematic to have mapping of the, the rebel groups because every week the chains of loyalty change and then uh, this notion of good guys and bad guys, this is uh, extremely relative because uh, our preoccupation is that uh, those arms will uh, contribute uh, to the escalation of uh, war crimes and gross human rights violations. I think we have to go. Uh, just, just one, just well, one question. You mentioned at the beginning of your briefing, you mentioned that there are these atrocities. Can you discuss some of the things that particularly disturb you? Uh, read our report. All there is in, in details in, ter in terms of torture, uh, in terms of. Uh, uh, 
one of the most dramatic uh, things, and uh, Karen has stressed this in the council, is uh, uh, enforced that disappears. That is, the families that have no clue, and we don't know, nobody uh, knows in the world how many uh, people are uh, disappeared and where they are. I think uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult competition, what is uh, more serious and more brutal, but uh, the sieges of uh, uh, parts of the population, the, uh, the indiscriminate military activity among uh, the civilian population, uh, you have all in the report. Uh, now, the last one. This, uh, yes, it's, it, that is, we are, we are not, that is, the expertise uh, for assessing the presence of chemical agents or chemical weapons is uh, the expert appointed by the Secretary General, and that has, will have a possibility to, uh, to, uh, to assess uh, all the contributions of uh, member states concerning uh, the presence of uh, the use of uh, chemical weapons and chemical agents. Thank you. Bye. I studied.